All right, what's up, y'all? fan here. As you can see by the title of today's video, my 610 demigod point guard has comp stage guards raging in NBA 2K22 next gen. So, in today's video, we're going against a dude from C4. It's a pretty well known clan in 2K. I would say this and Eyeball are the top known next gen Xbox communities when it comes to the clans. And as you can see, 71%. He's a 97 overall legend to play making shot creator. We all know. Smaller guard. I'm going to have a hard time guarding it, or at least we would think. And in today's video, you're going to see the defensive ability on display of my 6'10. So, as a lot of us know, whether it be with my gameplays on 1v1 or just from your own experience on 1v1, if you have a taller big, you're probably going to score nine times out of 10 on these smaller guards. But the problem is getting threes off, whereas these guys have a really really easy opportunity at easy twos right there or even more opportunities at three pointers and even at that i don't even have three pointer upgraded yet on my build it actually does get it eventually but either way still stands as a lot of you know i'm gonna have a hard time competing in this game because he can get threes and i can't it's literally as simple as that doesn't matter if he can't defend me all i'm getting is two point shots in the, the day so like i said on display in today's video is my defense of this build now that possession right there you guys see i didn't go for that drive on the first look you can say that he's a bot for not going for this right here, but at the end of the day, it's what a lot of these guards do. It's how they get their three-point attempts. They bait me into jumping right here, and if I would have jumped, boom, there's his three-pointer, just like that. But a little bit of patience, a little bit of discipline on the defensive end, and we all know he's going up with this one right here, so he ends up missing that. Now, mind you, watch these region fouls. Absolutely pay attention to them because... This is part of the raging part of this video title and how we really had this dude frustrated throughout this whole game. You'll see in a couple minutes what I'm talking about. But anyway, hit him with a triple threat, a couple more triple threat moves. We're going to try and just get as close to the paint as we can without holding LT because my post control is only at 25. Also, I'm going to avoid doing drop steps. What you're going to see me do when I get into position in the paint is let go of LT and just go for pump fakes to just square up with the basket so that I'm not allowing him to strip me on drop steps or for that matter when I go up for the layup as well. I'm just kind of timing it out to make sure he's not going for the steal as I do go for the layup. But you can see, I play a lot of this defense where I try and trap him into the corner. It gives him not very much room to run. But if you can predict which way he's going to try and go for the most part, as you're seeing me do, I'm playing him like a glove when it comes to me predicting this. Now, my excuse for him scoring on this possession right here, I thought he was way too tired to be hitting that three right there. I thought him dribbling for 20 seconds and the fact that I was bodying him up on some of them as well, I thought he was just going to be too tired to hit it. It is what it is. I should have defended him at the perimeter right there. But... It's, you will see that's like the last bucket he gets in this gameplay so again we're not going for the drop steps i'm just pretty much waiting it out i don't know why he's jumping in the first place you probably should be going for steals to be honest with you but anyway more defensive display of this build six foot ten 75 perimeter defense 78 steal rating it's a beautiful thing bro and honestly i don't even have clamps but i don't think it matters i don't think i'm starting to think clamps might be one of the more overrated defensive badges in the game as long as you're tall and you can body people up it does get kind of glitchy bro so anyway again he's dribbling like crazy he's trying to get them three-point looks he ends up going for the drive i probably would have chased that down but he gets i'm not gonna lie it's kind of lucky to an extent because he ends up getting the ball back but obviously it's not the ideal situation for him i get a nice little chase down right there once again 64 percent contest builds coming out here kind of dribbling like crazy too i don't want to be dribbling the ball too much against this guy because i know the end goal is literally just to get to the paint at the end of the day so i'm not come out here and do any like super crazy type of stuff but anyway triple threat move beat him to the paint simple as that literally one move get into the paint and he couldn't body me up or anything like that i got my single take on now but because i'm not on offense i'm obviously not gonna pop it but you're gonna see even better defense right here so he ends up getting stuck in the corner once again this is where i'm trying to push him to i'm trying to push him into the corner and he can't really go anywhere besides there so now mind you we've played really good defense he's on cold he's gonna come out here and try and get the quick stop on the wing i go for a little bit of a contest try and jump for the rebound still don't get it that's the second offensive rebound of the possession and then we get a nice little chase down right here again that is double takeover and you might as well just call that game to be honest with you because stuff blocks paired with me having playmaker takeover equals some glitchy glitchy stuff bro <laughs> now unfortunately he was spamming his x when i'm on offense so i don't really have the opportunity to do so i was going to jump at that one right there i want to let you guys know i was watching the clock in this situation like mind you from the beginning of the inbound he only has seven seconds by the time he even gets to a decent look it's probably gonna be like four as you can see right there and then when he hits me with this move right here i'm ready to jump at this one because i don't think he can have enough time to get a red a reasonable shot off if I do jump at that I didn't jump at it because I closed the gap enough but either way again he can't really get a shot off if he does any move whether it be to like long run to the left or if he runs it back to the middle so I just pretty much plan to jump at that one going to the left and if he didn't shoot it then it is what it is he just doesn't get the shot off so on this one right here I'm gonna get the ball I'm planning to post spin to the left because that's the better move it just gives me a better animation but he's overplaying my left pretty hard I try and go to the right 
he gets another reach in. That is his fourth foul. Mind you, it affects the game heavily from this point forward <laughs> in many different ways. But anyway, we come out here. I'm planning to do the post spin again, but again, he's just super high up on me. I don't want to get tied into a dribble move. I'm trying to be entertaining with this stuff. I'm coming out here trying to dribble. I was going to do some behind the backs and stuff, but either way, I just, I just figure why not go to the paint? I mean, it's going to be as simple as that. So because I know he can't foul me, I'm actually comfortable doing drop steps now because he can't even tap his X button. Mind you, again, four fouls, two for eight, <laughs> one for two from three, and we've been playing some crazy defense in this so far. Mind you, it's only 10 to five though, because again, he can shoot three pointers and you know, at the end of the day, he's only scored on two possessions, but he still has five points. I've scored on five possessions, but I only have 10. Now, again, he is on cold. He's going to be shooting fades. These last few shots that he had right here in the game, it really was just something where, you know, being on cold probably hurts quite a bit, but <laughs> there's the foul. Raging like crazy. Gets fouled out after scoring five points, bro. Five. Two possessions that he scored on. And I'll give you the box score right after this possession right here. We're just going to take the AI into the post, drop step. I'm not going to show the rest of the gameplay. Obviously, there's no point in me showing CPU gameplay. But anyway, like I said, box score boom two for nine five fouls and mind you the shot clock violation as well counts as the team turnover not his own so overall the shot clock violation two for nine from field goal and then missed two open three pointers as well it's not like i defended them perfectly but i'd like to think that i defended him really good on that one that he did make it's just that you know he ended up getting the open three after like 20 seconds so I think you guys can see the vision with this build, how amazing it looks on versatility for defense. I think I've played a lot of good interior defense on this so far, whether it be 3v3 and 2v2. I'm looking forward to showcasing to you guys how this build can actually play like a big man, whether it be as a screen setter, a lob catcher, all types of stuff like that, defensive rebounder, offensive rebounder, the list goes on and on. I'm going to be showcasing all that, and I'm looking forward to seeing how this build can shoot too. <laughs> Mind you, it's not like this is anything impressive right here, but I just think it's funny that some people struggle to get open against AIs. I got 50 speed with ball and we just hit one triple threat move and literally just outrun him. It's simple, right? I mean, this build can move. It definitely can move for only having 60 acceleration and 50 speed with ball. It really is crazy. Just bronze quick first step and a couple of good sigs on me. That's really all it is. But anyway, the CPU is doing a better time scoring on me than the player was. <laughs> it's a tough scene right here. I'm going to give you guys a quick little update on the build, and that'll be all for the video. And like I said, C4 is a pretty well-known clan in the community. I would say probably one of the top three stage in like park communities, if you will, as far as a clan goes. But anyway, I just wanted to say that is not a bum that we're playing right there. He's pretty good. I would definitely think that if he didn't get fouled out, there's still even a chance that he wins the game, <laughs> even on cold and me on double takeover. So it's just obviously an unfortunate situation that he ends up fouling but like i said that's the point of the video a raging point guard i mean he's just spamming his ex out of frustration half the time probably so anyway as for the attributes we have everything upgraded except for three pointer and mid-range i wanted to save this till last because i could manageably grind the build pretty reasonably without three pointer and then toward the end i'll be able to just pretty much get the hot zones get the three pointer get the shooting badges all types of stuff like that and it'll be a pretty easy transition but again only 50 speed of ball, 60 acceleration. We still have 73 speed and 84 vertical for the defensive aspect of things. Again, 75 perimeter D, 97 block. I did gain a couple badges playing threes with AK and Kitchen last night, but here's a look at the badge count that I was running when I was on the ones court last. As you can see, I didn't apply any extra badges. So these are pretty much what I had activated in that gameplay. So it was like silver, grace under pressure, gold fast twitch. It doesn't matter what the finishing stuff is pretty much. I did want to run unstrippable on at least silver though. I probably run it even higher if I could as well because that's honestly a lot of these guards only shot at stopping me so I gotta have that at a pretty high level but ideally like fast twitch mouse in the house grace under pressure and like unstrippable will be a little bit higher which I do have five extra badges for now but I'm not gonna lie this build's a little bit limited in the finishing category of 26 it's still good but to be like at the highest level of everything it probably needs like around 30 but that's just not gonna happen so it is what it is for the shooting badges, again, this is literally all I had. It's not like it makes any difference. And then for playmaking, this is what the ones court's looking like. We got things like downhill, hands for days, quick first step, tight handles. I actually am running bronze special delivery. You can throw self lives to yourself. Matter of fact, I'll pull up the clip real quick. This is actually the first game on, <laughs> the game right before me playing that C4, dude. And this guy gets the bump right here. I go for the jab right here, and it opens up this lane for the lob. And boom, there you go. You can throw self lobs to yourself if you have the special delivery activated. I think you have to have them because it's what allows you to throw it off the backboard. 
I think you have to have special delivery on to be able to do that. And it's convenient that I'm able to at least get it on bronze because that would enable me to do so if that theory is true. But again, that is pretty fire, bro, to come out here. You get hit with the force pickup and then boom, you can just take one little step in and throw it to yourself. That's so fire. I, I love the fact this build can do that. It's so cool. But anyway, yeah, unpluckable on silver, triple threat juke on silver, space crater on bronze. I mean, pretty much every dribbling badge I can possibly put on for 1v1 court is what we have activated. Moving along, defense, we have chase down on Hall of Fame, pogo stick on gold, rim protector on gold as well. You can definitely drop the rebound chaser and box down to like either nothing or bronze. So that's definitely a little bit convenient for the sake of playing 1v1 with my limited badge count on defense. Gold intimidator, bronze, tireless defender. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's definitely looking good as far as defensive badges go. And I think you only need like 30 to really be at the most optimal ratings. I mean, I'd probably put like bronze menace on, maybe a little bit more rim protector just so I can get more takeover for blocks. And then probably Hall of Fame Intimidator, and that's all I would need. Maybe a little bit of post-lockdown, I'm not going to lie. I did have a tough game against another like 7-3 because at the end of the day, my build doesn't have shooting and it doesn't have post control either. So I was just like literally swerving my way into the paint trying to dribble there because I can't move him. I literally can't move him with my lack of post control and all types of stuff like that. But yeah, no back down punisher, no post spin technician, no nothing. Like literally no drop stepper. I can't move them in the paint. So it has to be undersized people. This build is going to capitalize off of my guards getting me open though. So like if a guard is running pick and roll with me, I'm able to just get into the dead zone in the paint off a of screen rather than to, you know, power back down my way in there or I can get myself down there with dribbling or triple threat whatever the case may be for twos as you've seen or the 1v1 court that we just showed right here the build can still get into the paint and score that's really the end goal with this build and again I could still pick and pop eventually this will get 76 three-pointer it's have it's gonna have 15 shooting badges as well 70 pass accuracy has not been a problem so far still gets gold brick wall has some pretty good perimeter defense gets gold interceptor right on the dot hall of fame rim protector gold rebound chaser 70 ball handle for good dribble moves we have bronze quick first step with 50 speed with ball still and again i kind of if there was a budget on this build it was the fact that i didn't go for hall of fame sniper with the mid-range i didn't get any post control the close shot is a little bit lower than ideally for most people who would play the five or the 3v3 in park or anything like that and the acceleration was another hit that we took as well but other than that i mean the build looks very well rounded and looks really really crazy as far as like an end goal opportunity here gets both contact dunks mind you as well driving and standing and overall man i think this is gonna be one of my my favorite players that I've ever created. Also, interestingly enough, if you didn't know this already, I get sharp and play takeover as well with rim and glass. So the plan is that I'll run this exact like set right here when I'm playing fives and I'll be at the five spot with this and with the pick and roll and all types of stuff like that and me getting rebounds and maybe throwing outlets as well, I'm going to be able to get team takeover boost pretty manageably and when I have that on I've seen it firsthand I might even make a video on this in like a park sense because when I activate this AK's takeover goes crazy bro it's insane so anyway that's all for video I hope you all enjoyed if you did for the drop a like sub if you're new turn on the notice all that good stuff like I said in the intro tries one of 500 likes and if you made it to the end of the video put 610 or put glass lock in the comments show sportsman all the way through interestingly enough this is titled glass cleaning lockdown I'd say it's not a common build name, but the guy right here has it as well. <laughs> but I'm I'm not gonna lie, it's not the common build name that you used to see in like 2K20 and all types of stuff like that. I think this is a pretty rare thing anymore, and it's definitely on some catfish stuff. I mean, this build doesn't really seem like it'd be a glass cleaning lockdown. It has ball handling ability, finishing ability, like driving dunk and standing dunk ability. Can still shoot the ball as well, and really versatile on defense too. It's not like rebounding and rim protecting is really like a super big perk of this build. I would like to think that it's pretty balanced. But anyway, I'm babbling. It's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Take it easy, man. Peace.